Libya has a long history of problems, including political turmoil and civil war. However, if you take a look at the entire history of the country, these issues are relatively recent. One problem that has persisted throughout the history of Libya is water scarcity. Libya has long struggled with water scarcity, dating back to the early days of the country. This is not surprising, given that 90% of Libya's territory is desert and there are no natural rivers. Rainfall is also scarce, with some areas receiving little to no rain for years or even decades. This has led to a concentration of population in the 10% of the country where rainfall and agriculture are possible, hindering development and prosperity. For a long time, it seemed that this issue would never be solved. But 50 years ago, a plan was devised to create man-made rivers, which would become the largest irrigation system in human history. But how is this plan being executed and is it even possible? Despite being roughly the size of Indonesia or Iran, Libya has a population of only about 7 million people. Historically, it was thought that the majority of the country's land was uninhabitable. By the 1950s, the population was slightly more than 1 million and had not grown significantly since the Roman era, thousands of years ago. The country was impoverished after gaining independence from Italy and it relied heavily on foreign aid. However, the discovery of oil in 1956 changed everything. Libya was discovered to have some of the world's largest oil reserves, making it the largest in Africa and the 10th largest in the world. Within 20 years of the first discovery of oil in 1956, Libya's population would roughly double by 1976. And then it would more than double again over the next 20 years by 1996. With the influx of oil revenues, Libya was able to invest in infrastructure, education and healthcare, which greatly improved the standard of living for its citizens. The oil boom also led to the development of new cities and towns, as well as the expansion of existing ones. The discovery of oil also had a significant impact on the country's economy, transforming Libya from a poor, underdeveloped nation to a prosperous and industrialized one. The oil industry became the backbone of the Libyan economy and continues to play a major role to this day. It is thanks to this discovery that Libya was able to emerge as a major player in the global oil market and become one of the wealthiest countries in Africa. But Libya's population growth brought back a long-standing problem, water scarcity. Even in the coastal regions where it rains, the water supply was not enough to sustain the growing population. In order to find more water, the Libyans searched for alternative sources. They considered building desalination plants to turn the Mediterranean seawater into fresh water, but the cost was too high. They also looked into importing water from Europe through tankers or pipelines, but this would also be costly and would make the country dependent on Europe for water. Libya's solution to their water problem would have to come from a different and unexpected source. While drilling for more oil in the southern desert of Libya, an unexpected discovery was made. They discovered a vast underground aquifer full of fresh water, a resource more valuable than oil itself. However, because it's been trapped underground for tens to hundreds of thousands of years, and the region now receives very little rainfall, this water is not a renewable resource. The aquifers were also in remote locations, far from populated coastal cities, with limited infrastructure and transportation. Libyans initially planned to use the water for agricultural projects in the desert, but plans changed with the rise of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi in 1969. Libyans devised an ambitious plan under Gaddafi's leadership to overcome their long-standing geographic disadvantage of a lack of rivers. They proposed constructing man-made rivers through pipelines across the Sahara Desert, connecting newly discovered aquifers in the south to rapidly growing cities along the Mediterranean coast in the north. This massive irrigation project, known as the Great Man-Made River, would take decades to complete and would become the largest and most ambitious irrigation project in history, forever changing Libya's destiny. 
The great man-made river project involved constructing more than 4,000 kilometers of pipes to transport water from underground aquifers in the south to the cities in the north. The system includes over 1,300 water wells, most of which are over half a kilometer deep, to extract water from the ground. Today, this system provides approximately 2.4 cubic kilometers of fresh water annually to the over 7 million citizens of Libya, providing them with an equivalent amount of usable water. The Great Man-Made River Project was divided into five phases, the first of which focused on constructing a pipeline from south to north, tapping into the Nubian sandstone aquifer and connecting to the cities of Benghazi and Sirta. This phase alone necessitated the use of a quarter million sections of concrete pipe. It took 12 years to complete and provided 2 million cubic meters of water per day by 1996. The pipeline was extended further west to Tripoli and the surrounding area in the second phase, which was completed in 2000 and provided over 1 million cubic meters of water per day. The third phase, finished in 2009, added another pipeline to the existing network, increasing water supply to Benghazi and Sirta. The fourth and fifth phases, which were intended to connect the western and eastern systems and connect Tobruk to an aquifer, were never completed due to the political turmoil and civil war that followed the Arab Spring Revolution and Gaddafi's regime's overthrow in 2011. The great man-made river, once considered the world's eighth wonder, is still unfinished and its completion is uncertain. The Great Man-Made River Project was initially seen as a success, but over time it's faced several challenges. There were problems with the quality of the water, as it contained high levels of dissolved salts and minerals. The wells also depleted the aquifers at an alarming rate. Additionally, the project was heavily impacted by the 2011 Civil War, which caused significant damage to the infrastructure. The water shortages have been exacerbated by the ongoing conflict in the country, which has made it difficult to repair and maintain the pipelines and wells. Despite the challenges, the Great Man-Made River Project has been able to provide water to millions of Libyans, and it's been crucial in sustaining the populations in the northern coastal cities. The project has also enabled the growth of agriculture in the desert, which has contributed to the country's food security. However, the project has not been able to fully solve the water scarcity problem in Libya. The country still faces significant water shortages, and the population continues to grow, putting further strain on the limited resources. The ongoing civil war and political turmoil in the country have also made it difficult to address the water scarcity problem.